Good morning, everyone. This trade of us, diplomats, is tricky. We're supposed to know everything about the hosting country, but yet expected not to speak out or give opinions publicly. It is debatable to what extent can we, anyway, tell citizens of another society what they have to do or how to carry their business. There are things, though, we can do. Supporting the celebration of a human rights conference is a gesture of sufficient relevance, a sign, if you will. Sponsoring the Asma Jahangir conference and being here today are both symbols of my country's commitment to human rights, as much in general as when it comes to the future of the people of this friendly country that is Pakistan. Congratulations to the Yasma Jahangir Legal Cell for putting this conference together. Let me express how proud I am to have met Asma Jahangir in Geneva when I was heading the Human Rights Office in Spain. A signal of that commitment was also our cooperation a few months ago with the National Commission for the Rights of the Child, with whom we jointly organize an arts competition for children eight to 16 years old, to reflect upon their concerns, their rights, their frustrations, and their preoccupations. It was impressive to see the concerns children have from child labor or child marriage to mental health issues. The drawings on child marriage particularly broke my heart, I must say. It was an honor to collaborate with the commission which does indeed a commendable work. Let me also point that this is the same commitment that leads my country to support a just solution for the Ukrainian or the Palestinian peoples. In this last context, we have repeatedly called for a ceasefire, the release of hostages, an end to violations on international and international, humanitarian, international law and international humanitarian law, and the establishment as soon as possible of two states, viable and fully functional. Something we can also do is engage, as we, the European Union, do, engage with the government of Pakistan into a dialogue to pursue a number of relevant goals in the fields of human rights in exchange for EU cuts of our import duties to zero on some of your most relevant exports. We hence help also thousands of families get better jobs here in the country. What I can indeed do is talk about we do things in my own country. I did that, I did that two years ago when I talk about my pride in living in a place where men and women have the same rights and the same opportunities as well as equal areas of freedom, where we have complete freedom of opinion thought, beliefs, expression, and speech. And no one can coerce us to say or do anything we do not want or not to say something we want to say. Where we can walk the streets with the certainty that nothing will happen to us. And if it unfortunately does, justice will intervene and let all its weight fall on the aggressors. Especially in recent years, if it happens to be men who attack women within the context of a family or a relationship. On this occasion, I want to go a little further and list some more elements that make me proud to be Spanish and live in an open, egalitarian, and inclusive society. A country where education is mandatory and free for everyone. Every child who lives in Spain has the right and the duty, nay, the obligation, to go to school, whether they're Spanish by origin or the child of one of the Pakistani immigrants who have recently been arriving in our country. In the same way that everyone has equally the right to free health care, education and health for all make a better society. Just as it also makes it better to have decent wages, the difference between a person who works in domestic service and his employer 
is often no more than two or three to one. The minimum wage applies as, much, applies as much to a young lawyer, a young doctor, or a newly incepted bureaucrat, or a young diplomat, as to the housekeeper who cleans at home and does the homely chores. They earn similar salaries and can expect similarly decent lives. A country, finally, where there are public libraries in every city and every neighborhood. Everyone can read for free day after day. And reading, I assure you, makes us all more free. Thank you.